to our home community and on Moscow School back to. I stand here to extend a warm welcome to each one of you who have come today to partake in the glorious golden jubilee of religious profession of our dear father, Vargis Palatindal, and other jubilarians. The jubilee spirit is heightened with the arrival of two of our bishops, Bishop P.K. George and Bishop Dennis, <coughs> other fathers, sisters, aspirants, students, friends from far and near, and more especially, other jubilarians, close companions, friends and well-wishers of Father Vargas. Father Vargas will introduce each of them in his introduction. Dear Father Vargas and other jubilarians, today you are celebrating the golden jubilee of God's grace and faithfulness. We thank God because you and your companions have made it with the Lord's assistance. Today we celebrate you, your vocation, your call, your life of service in the vineyard of the Lord in Don Bosco's footstep. But above all, we celebrate God, His call, His faithfulness, His mercy, which has been the anchor of your salvation religious life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the maternal intercession of our Blessed Mother be with you all. And with your spirit. Bishop P.K. George and uh, Bishop Dennis Penipichai, both from the Diocese of Miao, a long distance that they have traveled. As they told me they started the journey at 7 o'clock in the morning. And Bishop P.K. is supposed to leave for Europe day after tomorrow. And Bishop Dennis is supposed to leave on the 7th or so. Though with the tight schedules, they were kind enough to adjust their programs to be present with us. I'd like to thank them in a very special way. I have requested Bishop P.K. or Bishop Dennis to preside over this Mass because we feel very much humbled. The presence of two bishops here and we are presiding over the Mass while it's they who should be doing at this moment. But then they both of them said, this is the attention is of the jubilarians. So I'd like to thank them for giving this significant tone to the celebration by their presence and also inviting us to preside over this Eucharist. And then I have four of my companions present here. That is Father V. S. Rekia, Surya Kritik Ketanam, presently the director of the Don Bosco College in Dipu, Kargyangrong district. He's a great educationist. He's found, he was the founding father of the Don Bosco College in Thura, where I think he remained nearly 25 years. He built up there a very, very beautiful college. And presently, he's building up also the college at the Dipu. I am very grateful to Father for coming over here to join us in the celebration. And then next to him, there is Father N. J. Suryan. I am proud we have met him. Up to recently, he was a master in charge of the center in Dargao, and now the newly appointed rector and parish priest of Dargao School and Secondary School Mara. He just went there yesterday, and today he comes back to be able to be with this program. I am very grateful to Father. And then we have Father Thomas Vatatara. You may not have seen him, but perhaps you have seen, heard of his name. He was a former provincial of uh, the uh, province of Guwahati, the one who built up also the DBI in uh, Guwahati. Everyone hears about the DBI center of Guwahati. And presently, Father is in Delhi, national level, <coughs> serving the entire Silesian India as a director of uh, from Bosco, reach out to programs and uh, development association uh, uh, works and the DP tech and all that. Many things of which we have heard. He has a number of responsibilities on his shoulders. He was present recently 
in some of our institutions to see the progress of these works. So it came as a happy coincidence for his presence also, for him also to be present with us for this jubilee. And then we have Father Joe Sakrapati, who is the parish priest at uh, Bokka, Nagaland Bokka. He has been there for some years now. You have seen him earlier, he has come to give good nights and visited us a number of times. Like one great thing about AD Jews is they all used to say, go to AD Jews, go to Jews for mathematics. <laughs> Most desperate cases, Father Jews has made them pass. By he has a tremendous capacity. This is unique in him that every student who has got his help and his guidance has passed. It's almost playing the role of the two desperate cases, go to Father Joe's and he handles them very well and makes them successful in life. I'm grateful to four of these companions of mine in being present here and to all of you, their contracts, father, sisters, brothers, and other friends and our aspirants here. So In particular, his long years of service in various capacities 
reflect two very important aspects of the church's mission, the pastoral care and the missionary activity. Father P.J. Wargins, Varga, known as Varga, is essentially a people's priest, in the biblical sense. We all being, we are all being the people of God. Ask anybody from Mao to Shadova. He loves the people, enjoys being with them, and is energized by them. Pastoral care is a second nature. He is, as we say, a born natural. Thankfully, he has been able to live out his priesthood in pastoral care everywhere. And the presence of all of you from various corners of Northeast in such great numbers here this evening is a tribute to the way in which he has lived his priesthood and touched the lives of so many in so many places. This evening, as I look back on Father Bartley's 50 years of service, my mind goes forward and backward to a time when it all began, 1962. And as I do it, I am convinced that the people of many years from now will look back on these 50 years and for all its failures and faults, there are many, we all remember it as a golden era of pastoral care. Young boys thronging their spiral legs and ready to traverse to the end of the world. All of us again remember those days, there was no question of coming to go, there was only coming to remain. This evening, as we celebrate the service given by one celestial priest and many of his companions, all who are present here, both in both the provinces, we also pay tribute to the exceptional services given at this time to by all the priests of these provinces. And while we thank Father P.J. for his work, we also thank those present here as well as those in Calcutta and Delhi provinces. Father P.J. Borghese heard about the call of Samuel, about what we just heard from the first book of Samuel. In doing so, he highlights the fact that all of us are called by God. Oh, my Father, you have consecrated me to yourself on the day of my baptism, in response to the love of the Lord Jesus, your Son, who now calls me to follow him, and led by the Holy Spirit, who is both light and strength, I, to complete freedom, now walk for myself without the soul to you. I pledge myself to live in the Salesian society, one in spirit and in action for my brothers, to give off my very best and all I have to those to whom I shall be sent, especially to the poor and abandoned boys, and in this way to have some share the mission of the church. To this end, having full confidence in Mary, help of Christians, in St. Francis of Saints and St. John Mosco, I renew the vow to the Italians, poor and obedient, according to the way of the life of the gospel, raised out in the Salesian constitutions. May the grace of God and the salvation of my institutions at all times, keep me faithful. Loving Savior, bless the effort and sacrifices of a loving Father actor. Bless his mind and heart. Bless his success and failure. Bless his joy and sorrow. And bless his family that he may willingly continue to Spread your love for this grace that has reigned.
in thanksgiving for your blessings and grant that we may respond to your kindness with the generous commitment of our life in the service of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
quality of heart than good intentions. We know that we may have often betrayed you. You instead have been faithful and steadfast and have always walked with us. Thank you, Lord, for accepting us in our consecrated life. Take it as it has been to self. Thank you for our Asian vocation and the gift of our lives and of our parents and our dear ones. Lord, walk with us in the years to come. All we ask is that you walk with us and you give us the grace to love tenderly, to act justly and walk humbly with you during the rest of our days until the day our resurrection dawns. We entrust it all to you through the hands of the Immaculate Mother of God and our Father from God's hope. Amen. Lord our God, may the sacrifice we have offered you in thanksgiving transform us by the power of your Spirit that we may serve you with renewed zeal and continue to experience your blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessings. Amen. May God keep our hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made quiet with the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. Ask all the two ladies together. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Golden Jubilee, that is 50 years of service to humanity, to the spread of love and peace, and above all, to God. It's not easy leading a life of sanctity, not one for nearly half of one's lifetime, a life entirely offered to God and His people. And I'm sure that only a person as dedicated, as kind, and as compassionate as Father can succeed in doing so. He is truly an inspiration for all aspiring priests and of course for the every one of us. On behalf of the entire Don Bosco family, we offer our heartiest congratulations to you, Father, for being so successful in fulfilling your life's purpose. And now, what other way to start this magical evening better than a prayer dance? So, I would like to call upon the stage the girls of classes 8, 9, and 10 to begin this evening with a prayer dance. Welcome song by the higher secondary students. 
So I would like to invite the students up on the stage to make us hum to their melodious tunes. request our honorable principal, Father Reggie Money, to take his time to welcome all honorable guests, Rwandians, parents, and performers into our midst. Father, you may now have your time. It is said, to be able to look back upon one's past life with the satisfaction is to live twice. Respected Father Rector, Vargis Palathingal SDB, Reverend Father Nazarius Lakra, Vice Provincial Province of Dimapur, other jubilarians present here, Father A.D. Jose, Father V.M. Thomas, Father N.J. Suryak, Father V.A. Suryak, fathers, sisters, brothers and brothers from far and near, teachers, parents, aspirants, postlins, students, and everyone present here. Wish you all a pleasant evening and a warm welcome to this felicitation program. As you all know, Father Vargis Palathingal, our rector, has completed 49 years of his yes to the Lord in the Salesian religious life. Every life has its ups and downs, so is one's religious life. To remain faithful, committed, and strong in the face of all obstacles and trials require tremendous trust and God's grace. Today, we are around Father Vargis Palathingal to celebrate and thank God for this singular grace. God has worked marvels through you, Father Varghese, in your varied capacities in the church, congregation, northeastern region, province of Dimapur, and various communities and people you worked with. I would like to make special mention of your tenure as provincial in guiding and shaping the province and your contribution to the area of formation in novitiate, philosophate, and here in Asparanate. We acknowledge all these and thank God for you and extend to you a warm welcome to this felicitation program. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you and God bless us all.
Now, I request the students to kindly felicitate the person in the limelight, our star of the evening, who also happens to be our beloved Father Rector, along with all the honorable jubilarians present among us. As a symbol of uh, his contribution to the Northeast, we will be welcoming, uh, felicitating him with a muffler, which is a symbol of uh, our region, and also a gamucha, which is a symbol of uh, our own state, a japi, and a booking. I request Father Rector to stay on and other jubilarians to join him. I request Father V.A. Syriac to kindly come up on stage. May I call on Father V.A. Thomas, Father V.A. Thomas, Delhi, and Father Syriac, V.A. Syriac from Don Bosco College, Defoe. <laughs> May I now call upon Father N.J. Sriyak. Father N.J. Sriyak, kindly join the rest of the celebrants. Father N.J. Sriyak was in Dergaon. He was the principal and in charge, now currently transferred to his, to Mara in his new capacity as the rector and parish priest, Father N. J. Sriyam. May now call upon Father A. D. Jones. Father A. D. Jones, the mathematician of the batch, he is Currently in Woka Nagaland is the parish priest of Woka Catholic Church Nagaland. Once again, we extend a very warm welcome to all the jubilarians and wish them a pleasant evening. Thank you and God bless you all. I would request the group concern to kindly come on stage and begin their performance.
Next up, I request Luis to come up on the stage and take his time to address the Honorable Jubilarians. Dear Father, Jesus has called to share in that life 50 years ago, and you responded positively and generously by committing your life to him when you were made your first religious profession. I am sure the recollections of that great and memorable day are still very fresh and vivid even today. How incredibly fast years has years have gone by. Today we are celebrating the 50 years of discipleship, fidelity and love in which you have been asked to share with Christ. You have participated generously in His passion and in His joys. You have been loyal to Him through and through, in light and in darkness, in sickness and in health, in pain and in happiness. Your yes has also gone through fire and has come out with gold. We rejoice with you. We are very grateful to you, Father, for 50 years of dedication. You have been a joyful witness and an inspiration to us all. You are 50 years here as a solution. Your enthusiasm, vigor, passion, and zeal have remained fresh as ever. We also take this occasion to thank you sincerely for all what you have been to us and for all your help in our formation and growth. We delight with you and we uphold you and all your intentions in our hearts. Marvelous are God's ways. May He continue to work marvels new and through you. God bless you and wish you many more golden years in the vineyard of the Lord. With prayers and wishes, we remain the sons and daughters of Don Bosco, Higher Secondary, Bajum Jarhat. 1st June 2019. Let's see, what do we have next? Oh, y'all are in for a really good time. Let's feel some music in the air because the orchestra is here. Musicians, the stage is all yours. I don't care.
You and I have to check the stage. Okay, I can assure you, Father Vagis was the yeah, smallest person in our, in our group. But something special about him is this. Though very small, all wanted him to be 
in the game group, especially in a special game which you may not know, called the American War. <laughs> and Baba was there, where, uh, among the big wars, he would quietly manage the taking of the flag, because the taking of the flag is the most important. He being very small, he will do it in such a clever manner that somehow or other he will escape with the flag and win. Uh, this is to tell, Father has got some wonderful quality of uh, being an intimate part of any group. And so, as Father Andrew said, Father has been very, very active and he has done wonderful thing for the province, for the church. It means only this, that he had a sense of belonging, which was very, very strong. And he wanted to make sure his group won. The second thing I want to share with you is this. Uh, we have worked in and out many times, many places. We have been together, quite closely together. I don't know why, but we were there. And I want to recall to you, when we were there in Mauvo, he was the rector, the principal, parish priest, and I was his assistant. And the way we worked together was something wonderful. He uh, uh, accepted me as a younger brother, though I am older than him. <laughs> so he accepted me as a younger brother, and we worked together, and to say how much he supported. So I really want to thank him for his humanity. And something very, very important. And a sense of humor, a sense of joy. And I'm sure each one of us present here, whether it is for NTCRA or BSRA or BSRA or BSRA or myself, we can say his company was something ex accepted and received by us with great amount of joy. So for that, what is thank you.
Dancers from the 8 to 10 standards, here's your cue. Come on up and capture our minds and hearts with your moves. We also offer our sincere thanks to Sir Sharad Bappi for choreographing the performance. Three, two, one. Bismillah.
looking back at it, it was a big risk that we took. No knowing anything about what is lying ahead of us, we made that promise. A big risk. But today we realize that God had taken a much bigger risk than us. He knew very well how our journey would be. Journey in which definitely moments when we would be very painful to him and many of the moments when we would be unfaithful to him, we would be betraying him, we would be running away from him. The good Lord knew it. Still, he called us, he chose us and he consecrated us. And therefore today as we celebrate this Jubilee, ours is a words, ours is actually words of immense gratitude to God for the trust that he played, placed in us and for having accompanied us all through this life, supported us all through this life, graced us all this all these years of our life. And same appreciation we have also to all our parents, our dear ones, our superiors, our companions, and all those who we serve. In one way or another, they were all instrumental in supporting us, encouraging us, blessing us. Today, as we thank God for these 50 years of our past, professed life as nations, we humbly ask the Lord that the remaining years of our life we may be faithful to you, still more firmly, more generously, more committedly. That's our prayer to the Lord and that's our invitation to all of you, dear brothers and sisters. Continue supporting us with your prayers that we may give ourselves to the Lord, continue giving ourselves to the Lord generously, happily and cheerfully. God bless you all. Thank you. We shall have the cutting of the cake ceremony. So I would like to request Father Rector to mark today's spectacular celebration by cutting the cake of achievement. <laughs> Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 